All right, so this video is on the 50cc Tau Tau scooter. I'm going to change the gear oil. If you watched my previous video, I changed the oil, which was right over here, right about here. Just finished filling it back up, ran it a little bit to warm up the gear, so that way it drains easier. When the gears are cold, like today here in Colorado, it is just thick. So I ran a little bit, put it up on its little stand, so that way the back tire could spin, could warm up the gear oil. Now you're going to slide a little pan, because it's low, I couldn't use my big drain pan on this little scooter. So I went and got an old pan from an oven or something. If you look, right under your automatic transmission, sorry, there's this bolt here. This is where your drain plug's at right here. So this is where we're going to fill it up at right there. So let's drain her out and see what happens. I use a crescent wrench myself a lot of times just because it gets into any size I need. So let's stick the crescent wrench on it. Make sure my pan's under it. Now break it free. You're going to want to turn towards the front of the bike. Once you break it free, it becomes hand tight. You can just move. It's got a little washer on here, so be careful. You don't want to lose it. Yeah, look at that thick gunkiness. This is a bike straight brand new out of the crate that my girlfriend's son got. I rode it last night for about 55 miles, bringing it home. It's street legal and everything. And... So, when I first started, it was hard to start. I mean, hard. It took a couple different days to actually get it started, started. But I rode it last night for a while, and by the time I got to the house, you could start to hear it kind of sound like it needed a new change. A lot of people recommend to change the oil and the gear oil and everything when you first get it. But before you ride it, some people recommend to break it in. So I went with the break it in route, rode it for not even an eighth of a tank, dude. Really, I mean, this thing gets great gas mileage. Doesn't have much power for us, you know, riding out on the main highways or nothing. So I would not suggest getting a 50cc unless you know you want to go kind of slower. Because if you're wanting to go very fast, flat ground with like a tailwind, you can get up to like 50, 55. And I'm 160 pounds, six foot tall. And... It handled good. It wasn't bad at all. There's the fuel tank. A storage compartment under here. You use the key right here. Let's set this up. That's where your carburetor's access and everything is. You gotta do some tuning up on it. Got your kill switch and run switch. Your electric starter. Your gauges. I figured out that this is in kilometers. It's miles per hour around the top. Kilometers per hour in the middle. Fuel gauge, uh, it only holds like a one point something gallons or almost two gallons, but uh, you got your right blinker, left blinker, high beams. Your lights are always on, okay? So this is your low beam, that's your high beam. Your lights are always on if it's running. And then you got your left turn signal, right turn signal, and the button in the center so you can push it and it'll just release back to neutral. And this is your little horn, it won't work without power on. Then you got your rear brake, you got your front brake, you got your two mirrors, you got a little storage compartment down here. Under here in this floor mat, there's a panel, lift that up and that's where your battery's at. Got your little tires over here. It's not bad, he paid I think seven something for it. Shipped in a crate to the front door. And this is the Colorado sticker here, saying I can use it on the road. See what we're doing. Looks like the gear oil is pretty much been drained out. So now we're gonna replace the gear oil cap. I'm back in the little hole here. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Not very much gear oil in this thing, is there? A little bit of transmission though, I mean, how much you really need. Okay, before I use the wrench on it, I always like to wipe some of the oil off of the nut or the bolt or whatever, because if not, 
the wrench might slip. And then you'll strip it out, bust your knuckles, and that's never a fun time. You got a good chance of it slipping anyways. I mean, it is oily. We did just take gear wheel out, so be careful. I would be wearing gloves, but it tends to be harder to do stuff. Let's see, I don't see, I almost slipped off right there. I'm doing it at a weird angle so I can hold this camera. All right, that's tight. Now, that's gonna be my 